Hi everyone, um, I'm Allison and this will be my vlog 7. Um, this week we were tasked to read chapter 5 um, in rhet rhetorical acts, which was the resources of argument and um, just a quick overview as last week we were also tasked to read chapter 5. Um, the first thing is, is that chapter 5 was resources of arguments, so it went over discussing the purpose of a claim, to have reasons, to have issues, and a question on policy um, when writing an essay, just because your arguments have to be really defined and really down in stone. Um, it also talks about enthymemes, which was evidence of emotion to another. Um, and I thought that was interesting because I've never really heard of that word before, and it was enticing to see it in the textbook. Um, then this week we were tasked to read four essays from, um, from the other book in chapter four. And the first essay, essay was about, it was um, by Hollander, and it was about love reality standards with music so it was an analogy from how music can sometimes be an analogy of something else and in this case it was reality love standards and so she this person discussed um how a lot of songs that are written are only written in a language that appeals in black urban communities and I thought that was interesting because I guess I never thought about love songs in that way or truly analyzed them in that form. And then she, all, this person also discussed a lot of love songs are on relationships of all sorts. And it's not really in a spiritual connection or sometimes when songs are about relationships, it could be about hookups or it could be just not anything about commitment. And some songs are also containing like motherly things. So just encouraging commitment and being in a committed relationship. And then rap songs also provide identity and kind of show the listener a little identity of who the artist truly is. The next article was by Wilkins and it was an analogy of how country music is a representation of a cultural war of identity, especially in the United States, just because country music is often associated with a more conservative view. And so conservative also means liberal. And so it's just something that the United States has kind of grown up with doing um, and listening. And so it's a, a really big part of our culture. And then the third article was from Anderson, and it was about auto-tune over the authenticity of a true person's talents and voice. It used an analogy from Kesha and how she uses auto-tune or did use auto-tune a lot when she first started singing, and a lot of her pop songs are using auto-tunes but also the fact that how autotune has a negative connotation in society and how people often like to say that if you use autotune, then you aren't a talented person. And so, and so Anderson also just talked about how using effects t was a way to improve talentless people and their voices and their platform. Um, from Vasquez, she used how music relates to, her topic was how music relates to politics, um, especially since she is from an immigrant household and that um, Hispanic music was very important and big in her bringing up. And so one analogy that she used was a lyric from one of the bands that she listened to and it was this immigrant saying, I just want to be free and that is an analogy because immigrants are often feeling as if they're not free and they're in the united states but they don't have the full freedom package 
and so they express their emotions through singing. Thank you. That concludes my vlog. Thank you.